Let's move to another byproduct of the hyacinth. And still on Dunga Beach, a strategic entrepreneur is making biogas from the plant. We harvest water hyacinth manually, then we take it to the system. Uh, the first process is shredding, where we shred it twice to remove the air elements. Then after that we feed into the system through the inlets, which are the pipes entering the system. So we are producing, we want to provide the women who are doing the deep frying of the fish in the beach so that they stop using firewood. So that one, uh, our main um, aim is to stop them using firewood, that is, which is going to conservation of our forests. Yeah, that's the main aim. Then the second thing, by removing water acid from the lake, we're just trying to make the lake be accessible because the water acid make it inaccessible. What if it's eradicated completely and then you have raw material? The business ends. Oh, first of all, our system does not depend on water acid alone. We can get other feedstock like market waste, food waste, which are always available. If you go to any market, you can't lack market waste. All said and done, we sought to find out what the locals know about the bigger picture and the renewed efforts to eradicate the weed.